All right, what's going on? Got a CPS-1 arcade board to show you today. And this one's running on the Super Neo 29 Candy. And now uh, this is a really cool game. It is Willow. You might be familiar with it, perhaps not. Uh, yeah, when I was uh, much younger, back in the day, this was one that I really enjoyed in the arcades. And yeah, it's a pretty rare board to track down these days. Not so easy to find. And people who do own it, you know, aren't really willing to get rid of it since it is such a cool game. But, uh, yeah, I thought I would just kind of show you some of it. It is very difficult, so, yeah, being that, I don't know, I haven't played this one in quite a while. Uh, we'll, we'll see how the gameplay goes, but just so you can have a look at it. And, yeah, I was fortunate enough to have picked this one up, um, I guess it was, wow, over a year ago now. And, yeah, like I said, uh, haven't really had too many opportunities to play it, so could be a little bit rusty. Uh, kind of have to go on what I can remember from when I was much younger playing it, but yeah, I'll give you a look at it. It is a really cool game. Let the demo run through a little bit. And yeah, it's kind of like really an uh, action platformer type arcade game, but it does have a lot of RPG elements in it as well, so pretty unique game. And uh, like I said, kind of difficult to find, especially these days. All these old Capcom games are, uh, CPS1 boards especially, many of them are kind of becoming more and more scarce, so if you would be interested in owning it and you do see it, I uh, highly suggest that you jump on it pretty quickly. Yeah, if you love the George Lucas film from back in the day, then uh, yeah, you'll really like this game. I especially enjoy the uh, kind of cartoony depictions of Warwick Davis and Val Kilmer's characters. But yeah, there's a couple of CPS1 games that are uh, pretty tough to find like this one that I've been looking for for uh, many years, was able to finally track this one down. Another one that's really cool, another uh, action platform arcade game is uh, Nemo. And uh, I've actually never seen that one for sale. It's the first stage boss. So I'll flip down the coin mech, put some credits in. Yeah, back in the day, this game was a pretty notorious kind of coin eater, so pretty awesome to own the PCB at home and just be able to put in as much as you want there for free. But yeah, love the visuals and music. Uh, some really nice gameplay as well. Quite difficult, but a totally enjoyable game. Totally recommend this one. wasn't ported to any home consoles. There was a Willow game on the NES, but uh, totally different from this arcade game and not nearly as good. So yeah, your basic controls in this one, you know, you've got your jump, your uh, fire attack, and if you hold that down, you can see he charges it up and it becomes more powerful. And uh, when you kill enemies, you collect money. Pretty useful because the game is difficult, like I've mentioned already several times, so... Uh, with the money that you collect from killing enemies, you can sort of enter into this little shop where a wizard appears throughout uh, uh, various points in different levels and purchase uh, weapon upgrades, different items that'll kind of help you along the way. And there is a timer, as you can see up there in the upper right-hand corner, so you, know, you gotta kind of move quickly. Uh, while also trying to collect money so uh, you can purchase those upgrades. You can see that wizard right there, That's uh, you go up to him and that's the shop. But uh, yeah, you can also um, hit up and jump to kind of gain access to higher level platforms. And uh, you can also hit down and jump to uh, jump down from them. As you can see there. I'm already kind of running out of time. It is pretty unforgiving in that regard. But yeah, here's the little shop. And I don't have much money yet, so I won't be able to purchase too many things. But 
so you can see it. timer I've got 32 so it might not be enough time to kill this guy but if not we'll just restart it got uh, four credits in here so Just in the nick of time, had three seconds remaining. But yeah, when you uh, progress throughout the various stages, uh, as you can see here, we save Val Kilmer's character, and uh, I believe you get to play as him in level two. He's a little bit different, of course, he's a taller character, so <laughs> it's funny little cutscenes here. But yeah, like I said, if you like the movie, then uh, a pretty cool game to play for sure. Uh, yeah, this character, you know, he's a bit taller, so, uh, for instance, when you're going up against the archer-type enemies, uh, you can't just kind of duck to avoid their shot, so. But yeah, his, uh, when you charge up his weapon, he kind of shoots this little uh, projectile out of the uh, sword. Yeah, just a really beautiful game. Don't make them like this anymore, that's for sure. shop. I think I'll be able to purchase this battle sword. Increase your attack power. See a really cool action platformer and as you can see some uh, RPG elements kind of fused in there as well. to the head. I mean, the game's pretty challenging, uh, even in just the uh, first couple of stages, so... Those guys are not letting me up. <laughs> Yeah, by the time you get to uh, stage three, uh, it just becomes really difficult. Which is uh, why it's pretty cool to own the board, so you can just uh, keep playing for free. Now this part's pretty tough. Kind of going up uh, against the whole array of different enemies here. There's some uh, eagles that swoop down and drop rocks on you too. 
try to make it to at least stage three so you can see that. Uh, keyword try. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Might have to pop in some more credits. But yeah, if you're a collector of arcade PCBs, uh, this is definitely an awesome one to have. Just being that it is pretty, uh, you know, kind of rare and uh, a great game as well. Oh, bastard. <laughs> Can't get to that guy. But also, it's one that you can check out in MAME, too, so uh, there's definitely a way to play it. Uh, like I said, no home console port, unfortunately, but if you're lucky enough to uh, find the PCB, play it on your cab or super gun. It's great to have the original hardware, but uh, yeah, you can test it out in MAME as well and play it that way. I'm just getting torn up here. But you gotta love the uh, look to the game. Really visually appealing one. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> just getting demolished right now. Yeah, there we go. Definitely got a, a steep learning curve, and like like I said, you know, it's been many many years since I've really kind of played it and well played it over and over again. I've had the board for a little bit over a year now, but since uh, being able to purchase it. I haven't really gotten a chance to kind of sit down with it and just play it too much. But yeah, God, I do remember this stage and it's quite difficult. I mean, by the time you get to the, uh, this stage, like, just the basic enemies you encounter, oh, they take somewhere in the upwards of, like, 20 shots or, or something ridiculous like that to kill, so... And we've got these uh, annoying projectiles, these bombs, a lot of range. I mean, you just gotta love how great the game looks and sounds. See him just wailing away on that guy, and he's not going down easily. We played a little bit more. hit this enemy while he's attacking you otherwise you're gonna your shot's just gonna kind of fire off of his shield as I fall into the water there 
tough bastard. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, that little uh, slide you can do by kind of angling the stick down and just uh, hitting the jump button. room on that island. I'm gonna make it to the boss of this uh, this stage, but yeah, it's a really tough boss, uh, as you might be able to imagine, just based upon how difficult the regular enemies in the level are. It's like this wizard who uh, flies around, and just fires all kinds of different spells at you. Oh, taken down. Looks like I'm kind of getting uh, near the end of uh, as much as this camera is going to be able to record, so if the uh, film just kind of cuts out abruptly, I apologize for that. But I don't think we're going to get by this guy anyway, so it probably doesn't matter much. Suicide! <laughs> I thought maybe you could jump across and get to the next uh, point, or maybe it would start you on the next ledge. Uh, even after kind of dying in the water there, but no such luck. Finally! really cool too. Good thing about Willow's uh, due, due to his uh, kind of short stature there, you know, you can just kind of duck under these projectiles. Actually, pretty tough one. 